today's the day we are leaving we're putting everything in storage and we're going to connecticut and then we're going to come back and actually move in to my one bed apartment i am so excited but today we just have to get through today um so drinking black coffee so right now i'm gonna strip my bed show you all of my boxes it's just go 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 why it's mom is coming to help us out because we don't have a car so she's going to be helping with a lot of the packing and driving and moving things around first step to coming into my new home Welcome to my new apartment, everyone. Forgive my voice, I am narrating this while sick, but this is my brand new one bedroom apartment in College Station. I'm so close to the university and I was so surprised at how big it actually was. The walls and cabinetry were freshly painted and while it's a small kitchen, it's the perfect size for me. And look at this pantry, there's so much space. I even realized that I could make the living room area one part TV room and one part home office, which is so awesome because I am trying to work from home. And this is my bedroom. The carpet is brand new too, and I have not one, but two walk-in closets. So this one is going to be my new recording studio, and I will soon show you the other one, which is going to be for my clothes. It's right next to the bathroom, and this is Lunchbox's new hiding place, but look how much space there is. There is shelves, there's places to hang clothes. It's really all decked out. And then my bathroom is really awesome too. It's smaller for sure, but I love how many mirrors there are in here and the lighting isn't too bad either. Honestly, it's a perfect size for one college girl. Like this is more than I was expecting. It is about me three o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock. We have been going since eight in the morning. We got up at eight and we immediately went to my new apartment complex to sign in and they weren't even open. I had a 9 a.m. appointment to move in and after like knocking for 10 minutes, this old woman came up to the other side of the door and she was like, we're not open. And I was like, I have an appointment. And she was like, we're not open. And then like, she got really pissed and then just like walked away. Um, but then this really nice girl came and helped us and gave me my key. Um, but we're moved in. I, not we're moved in. We're not moving in together. This is my own place, but I am thrilled. Like I am so excited. I have everything moved in my living room, but this is my bedroom. And oh my gosh, it is raining now. So that's why I'm sweaty my hair is wet and i'm very tired and dehydrated today was moving everything from the storage place to my apartment but i just wanted to show you like what it looks like before everything is put in and um now i can show you what it looks like like the living room i can show you what the living room looks like with everything just in boxes and thrown around and stuff so let's check it out i'm so tired so walking out of the hallway like this is everything look how cute my couch is i got that on facebook marketplace it was like 150 i think um, very cute. Love it. And I even have all these boxes to go through. I don't know how to do it. Hi, babe. Hey. <laughs> all right. It is time to go home, and this is a project for tomorrow. go through it's an extra large box i have to go through this whole thing and i've already gotten the dry the dry goods out i've already gotten the, the plates and all that stuff i'm sweating yeah cutting boards the 
This isn't mine, but I'm keeping it. I think my boyfriend might have accidentally put this in. Oh, it was probably my old roommates who moved out a while ago, so mom now. taken at least an hour I haven't been paying attention to the time but I am done with the kitchen it looks like there's not much stuff out at all that's because everything is in the cabinetry eventually I will have a, a, a an apartment tour but I am going right to these these bathroom boxes right here and just continuing throughout the house one thing I realized while moving in is that these crappy little side cabinets that apartments give you suck. They don't hold anything at all. Not only are they short, but like they're shallow too. So there I had a limited amount of space for any medicines or anything and that just sucked. I didn't realize this until now, but I have a lot less stuff for the bathroom than I thought, which is awesome, which means I really sized down when I was moving out of my old apartment. That was kind of my goal. After this year, I'm hoping to go on the road in a van with my boyfriend. So sizing down is good. I don't really have much stuff for the bathroom, but um, yeah, everything is looking good and it's kind of trippy, but I'm tired. I asked for a place with the absolute most natural lighting possible. And if you look at the camera, I'm, I'm sweaty, I'm breaking out, but um, this natural lighting is incredible. It's amazing, look how big this window is. Now it is time to move all of the bedroom stuff to the bedroom. However, I do not have a bed or bed frame. Uh, I don't have a mattress, so I really don't even know where the bed's going to go. I'm just kind of throwing all of the bedroom stuff into the bedroom so I can get that out of the way and finish the living room because I have a huge carpet to put down, sorry, rug to put down. We're getting there, I'm really tired. Um, I'm hungry. Oh, I don't have any food here, but I'm hungry, so uh, yeah, just keep going. up and I finally finished my bathroom I can show you it so one issue is is that I had way too much stuff too much like Christmas stuff and birthday presents and it was all like lotions and soaps and bath bombs and all that kind of stuff and I got rid of a lot of it just because I wasn't going to use it and then I stored some of it away so this is what I have left so I got this from home goods and it's storing everything from small palettes to cotton pads to lip glosses and everything else that I need. It's right in here and it's very cute, it makes things look very organized. These are my essentials for every day. I have my toothpaste out and it looks like I really don't have much, honestly. It is important to take water breaks though, so cheers, stay hydrated. I think my favorite thing so far about my apartment is this lighting this is my bedroom this huge window is in my bedroom and it gives me the best lighting ever it just brings in such beautiful lighting and it's so warm in here and i'm really grateful for that i did ask the people when i was touring like can i please have a spot that is in the corner of a building so i will have windows on both sides sticking out 
Um, and it's great. It really did work. I have a corner building and whew, it's, it's just beautiful. This lighting is really great for making videos. However, I actually have a second walk-in closet that will be acting as my studio and I'm not going to show you it yet. I'm going to deck it out. It's going to be my studio. I'm thrilled. So with that, I'm just going to go through a couple more boxes and see what I can do. I don't have any nails, which is kind of like really important for putting up decorations and stuff. I am just going to kind of unbox everything that I have, put it on the ground and see what I can work with. <laughs> Ow. Hello everyone, this is probably going to be a very roughly put together move-in video, especially because I haven't had time to actually plan it out. Filming as I go. But guess what guys, this is actually my first day of school and I just came home from my first class. I have two today, one at 10.20 in the morning and then one at like 4.25 in the afternoon. They're so split up and in between this time, I can edit a video, which is what I'm about to do. But before I do this, I actually want to buy a couple things off of Amazon. Um, so I thought you might be able to help me. You can see in the background that almost everything is put together. It's a little empty, but yeah, I can even show you my office area. My office area is cute, kind of put together. I have some drawers here. This was originally for my room, so I want to get new stuff for my room it's almost empty i would really like some gold side tables and maybe another desk for art in addition to this i do need a coffee table um so let's go on amazon also if you hear this squeaking that's the chair three two one okay i'm recording with vimeo so let's go to Amazon. So first, I want some side tables. I saw some really cute ones. I'm looking for maybe white and gold or glass and gold. So we're gonna look at gold side tables. These right here, they're $109, but it comes with two. They're really, really pretty. These actually have a glass top, I think. So this is what I think I'd rather have. But at the same time, it looks like it would take up a lot of space. They're really massive. Sometimes I just don't understand why furniture is so damn expensive. Like this is a piece, five pieces of metal stuck to one, one slab of marble and it's $81. That's actually not as bad as some of the other stuff. I actually kind of want to look at these. However, two of these will be pretty expensive. Honestly, it's going to be like $160, more than $160. Why is it so hard to shop for a new place? <gasps> these are pretty. All right, I do like this one a lot because it has a little bookshelf where you can put books or papers or whatever into there. I don't know what it's made of. I'm kind of confused. Oh, it's a pocket. That's not metal. I changed my mind. Let's look up the same thing, but under a hundred dollars because I don't have the money. Oh, there's a head off to college for less sign. That's still pretty expensive. Who, what college student is going to spend almost $200 on bar stools? That's ridiculous. I think I have this chair though. <laughs> this is a really comfy chair. This is the one I'm in right now. This one is $53 and you get a 5% off coupon, but that's not really that much. Okay, I know what I'm getting. I am getting this round side table. It is two tier foldable end table. It's white and gold, which really goes with my room. And it's only $43.99 each. I think I'm going to get one and see if I actually really like it. If I don't, it'll go in my living room and be like a plant stand or something. And the next thing I would like to find is a coffee table for my TV area. Again, off the bat, they're gonna be pretty expensive already. I also would really prefer something just like rectangular, nothing too crazy. The last thing I would like is just some wall decor. I have walls that are very empty, so I really would like some shelves and some kind of moon or sun to cover up the really big areas of my walls. Ooh, off the bat, I already love these. First off, they're $5 off. Second, they're white, they're gold. I'm trying to add a lot of warmth to my room, so I, I love gold, I have some gold, but I really also want oranges, and eventually I'm gonna have a lot of plants in here. Hmm, I love this right here though. 
So this is three wall prints. I think I'm gonna get the eight by 10 because I don't want them to be warped, which has happened before with prints. Okay, I think these frames are what I need. Once I get this frame set, I will have a bunch later on to put in my room. So the total is $263.51. It's not that bad since this will be me pretty much completing my decor for my place. It's a lot of money, still, it's a lot of money. But this will be coming in in a couple days and eventually I will be able to do my apartment tour. You will be getting it, I promise. But anyways, I have to have lunch and go to class. So thank y'all so, so much for watching my video. Thank you for watching me move in over the past week or two or s actually it's been like a month now. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.